Hello everyone and welcome back to Feed the Beast Unleashed with me and Max this time. How are you doing today? Everybody? We're doing well, we're doing well. This is actually, um, we actually recorded so many episodes. Uh, whoa, Jesus Christ Max, what was that? Uh, that was my dad shutting the door. Oh, quite a hefty door then. Oh my god, look at all this door strike. But yeah, basically, because we recorded so many, it was uh, pretty ridiculous. This is like the first episode in like two weeks we recorded. Which is, uh, Indeed crazy. it is. It's been a while. So long, in fact, I can't remember any of the controls. <laughs> Even WASD. I mean, so weird. You can't remember WASD? Well then, that's a bit of a problem. I know, well... Arguably that's a problem. I mean, it might not yeah, be a problem. It is. Oh, well, I don't know. I, I could, like, sort of look around a bit and I was like, arrow keys, why aren't you working? Yeah. I and I was like, oh, yeah. herp -a derp W, A, S, and D. The controls. Well, the controls for you and me, Max. That's how it goes. W, A, S, D. It's the controls for you and me. Okay, maybe that isn't how it goes then. No, probably not. Whoop. Well, I just, just oh, dropped God. a few barricades on the floor. Oops, a daisy. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, we've basically just getting into the swing of things again, so. We oh, jeez. Yeah, um, first row da. Yeah. That was a bit late. I do not have <laughs> enough charge to do this, Max, apparently. I'm charging up very slowly. Very, very slowly. I'm not quite sure why, Max. This could be a problem that we're charging up slowly. I'm just gonna go get the, uh, the tinker table, you know? Yeah, so um, since my wand is taking ages to charge up, should we go and see, show them what we did? Because it's actually been a oh, very long time. Oh, God, yeah, we haven't actually showed yeah. anyone. Here, Max, let me let Max. me sling you across. No, it's fine. I can do it myself, Max. No, you can't. I can. Come here. I can. I, I can do it myself. Look, I'll, I can view perfectly fine <laughs> from here. <laughs> he says, jumping into the river. Look, yeah. I can see. So basically, um, I turned up. I was like, Max... Um, I'll be gone for ten minutes, and I came. I came back, and Joe and Max had built this. Well, you say Joe and Max. What you really mean is Max. Max, and then Joe built some scaffolds just randomly. Oh no, that was me. Oh, was it? Oh, okay, so Joe I, did nothing. I made it. I did it. Joe did bug. I, I did. I did the exterior here, though. Oh look, uh, we've got a uh, a thingy here. <clears throat> make piston. Make, okay, make blah 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 blah. Okay, that's good. I that's, was actually I like thinking the third one. we might. Manufacture weapons in here. Oh yeah. Have like guns and bombs and stuff. Right. Maybe do a bit of ICBM in here. ICBM. That would I... be good, except for the fact that ICBM isn't actually in this pack. Of what? Yeah. Oh, what a letdown. So basically, I made the I made like all this birch and stone brick though. That was pretty nice. Uh huh. So yeah, we have some basically a few floors. I'm gonna try and find the R red power texture for marble and replace it, this quarried stone with it. Should be quite nice. Hey, uh, uh, come up to my office, you big. Oh yeah, the office. Max, you big office. Hitler. Max has to have an office. I have to. It's just the policy. Okay, so we come up here. Nice, nice birch and marble. I'm just gonna call it marble from now on. It pretty much is marble. It pretty much is marble. This is the wrong way. It's this way. It's quarried stone, in fact, in case you wanted to know. But you can basically just find it in random lumps, and it's quite nice. I have the mighty schlong sword on one yep. side. The holy hobnob of hip hoppiness. Yep. And Indeed. a power suit table, a research table, of course, because Max likes doing his thumbcraft. I do. And what a great suit. mod. Uh, I heard about Thumbcraft Two from you, actually. Uh, Thumbcraft Two. Uh, basically, yeah, the more Thumbcraft Four, really. Watching a bit of uh, some Thumbcraft Four going on, and they're going to bring back Taint for those who uh, who don't really know. Oh, Jesus! A bit of a bug there when I look at the table. If you stand from right. this side. If you stand from this side and kind of look directly forward. If you stand on this side of the table, like on okay. this wooden block, and look perfectly forwards, like towards that torch, it like disappears. Uh, I just think you're crazy, Tommy. Okay, well, watch, watch the video. Okay. It's gone. That is definitely gone. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, I need a couple of solenoids. And talking about solenoids, I believe you made some in chemistry today. Oh my god. What? Yeah, we, we had a chemistry lesson, and we made some solenoids. It's amazing. Yeah, I was away on Jogger's field trip, so... Oh, that was fun. That must be fun. It, it was shocking. 
it well, was awful. Oh god, I've, I've got a block from my office. Oh dear, um, you replaced that. Um, there we go. Uh, finally, the last thing we need to show is that we've decorated the uh, the water mill place. The water mill place. <laughs> the, yeah, the facility, it's, hydroelectric facility. It's a very big mind boggle. Yeah, it's quite a mess of mess, but of course, you know, it just has to be like this sometimes. It's quite nice. It looks a bit like it, you can see all the the. I made a few more of them. Um, they aren't hard to make uh, at all, um, Max. I've got a Turbo, turbo Slay Mark II here, so you better yeah. watch out. Come at me then. Well, I'm stuck, so. Uh, yeah, thought so. Yeah. Look at you down there, you little. Yeah, here. Yeah. Thank you very there much, you Max. Thank you very much. Oh, so, yeah, joking. So this is actually clear glass, is it, Max? This is clear glass. Yeah, it's clear glass. Which is actually cool. um, what you do is you put sand or glass in the smeltery. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, I thought it was me. <laughs> well, that was... I was trying to grab a block with my uh, my Fusro Dar gun. Yeah? Yeah, I'll, I'll help you up. You know okay. Me. Oops. Thank you very much. I wonder if you could grab yourself and like throw yourself out. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. But um, yeah, open top though, I thought, you know, it'd be quite nice to have an open top facility. Yeah, if it rains, that's just some extra energy. Uh, pretty much, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we might get some sort of applied energistics thing to like, because apparently you make uh, 10 times or, or something more energy, or maybe 100 times more energy, I thought, some, some people said, if you um, like put water into the water mills, like actually actively put water buckets in, so that'd be something. Oh, right. Finally, our silver that. tree grew as well. I don't know if that happened last time, but it's just been so long. Um, oh, no, that's been there for a while. Has it? Quite a long time, Tommy. Oh, I <laughs> just... Very... <laughs> Yeah. That it, that it. There's also a couple more saplings that I got from Silverwood Tree. So, if you uh, put three together, I believe they make like a trio of like a massive cluster viz thing. A massive cluster viz thing. Yeah, and it's like super quick recharge or something. Well, that's good. Anyway, do you want to uh, make a thumbnomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanomanoman
two of that and I think two glowstone was it or six to oh no it was six torches okay Max I'm gonna show everyone how to do it here Look at this. okay go for it Thomas I'm going downstairs into be the, free uh, the dangers of the uh, horrible well not horrible let's go okay so we need some water first of all um, I actually it turns out that you can actually use um actually, has he got a bucket in here Oh my god, what the hell? Uh, he, I think he does. I think he does. Okay, let's go upstairs and get a bucket. Can you make tin buckets? Can you make buckets out of tin? No, that would be ridiculous. You silly Billy. I remember you used to be able to make buckets out of tin. Back in the old uh, industrial craft days. When was the first time you ever played with mods, Max? Uh, it was when you introduced me to amps, actually. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, I just may have picked up your potatoes. Oh no, you can have them. Oh, well, you can have those. Talking about potatoes, um, in fact, all I had for lunch on Wednesday was a new potato. A single new potato. A single new potato. Was it because quite new? I got in a bit late. It wasn't very new. It was quite hard, actually. It was bloody disgusting. Right. I got in a bit late. All they had left was deep fried vegetable y aubergine -y stuff, which was disgusting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> or some horribly rank grey brain soup kind of thing. Brain soup? Yeah. Brain in, a, brain in a soup. It was like a triple meat treat, but liquefied. Oh, we saw in biology, we actually. Oh god. <laughs> we saw uh, brain in jars. We were, we were looking at, like, I can't remember what he's called, like some American scientist who, like, stuff of neurology. Yeah. And he had like loads of bra like thousands of brains in jars. He collected them. And uh, a brain, a pig brain that looked identical to a triple meat treat. It did. It was horrible. Um, but yeah, either way, guys, um, you may have just seen me throw in six torches and two coal there. You're probably wondering why the hell I did that. Well, if we have a look at our Thornomicon, which I actually already have one of, so I don't even know why I built that. I'll give it to you, Max, if you ever need to. You're very set. I've got a Thornomicon. Okay, well, I'll give it to Joe then. Okay, go to Or the anyone else who needs one. I have um, an arcane work table here in this so, chest. Really? Oh my god. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll come down and uh, just so, plop it down a bit. Okay, well, I'll just explain to you guys. So, uh, basically, for a piece of night ore, you're going to need four ignis, four potentia, and six lux. Now, coal contains two ignis and two lux, uh, two potentia each. So I threw two in to get four ignis and four potentia. And then you need six lux, and it turns out that each torch has a piece of lux. Uh, so you hold down shift or sneak or whatever to um, find out the um, properties of the, the different things. And then all you have to do is once you've got the right amounts in, uh, basically if you get it wrong, then you're going to let out loads of horrible flux into the air. But hopefully we've got it right. And uh, there are gonna, there's going to be a little bit of saxum in the coal that's going to go out as flux, but there's hardly anything. So now all we have to do is right click with our wand, and there we go, we've got night ore. And you see we used up a little bit of uh, Vs there, but it doesn't matter. Let's take the Night Ore, Max. We've got some Night Ore. Very and, nice. Uh, anyway, night Thomas, ore. I've got to grab some Din Dins. All right. And I should be back in like half an hour-ish. Okay, so we're going to stop recording here. Let me just show you what Night Ore does. Um, we're not going to stop the episode. We're just going to stop recording for a bit. So don't worry. Um, we'll so be back. We will we'll be back. So Night Ore goes here like that. And look at that. just looks like a beautiful flame of fire. Isn't it lovely? It is lovely, to be honest. So, I am going to be working on a tad of research. Uh, Weber has just started a random research. I'll put it over here. He said research? he couldn't be bothered anymore. Oh. <laughs> he well, did a typical Weber. I'm Anyways. Gonna... Okay, so yeah, I'll finish off um, some of these random researches. And um, once I have done that, I'll be right back. And We'll, we'll see, see you in a little bit, guys. Au revoir. Not bye bye. Our, not bye bye. We're this, we're gonna we're basically saying bye, but the, we're just gonna cut the video anyway, Max. Yeah, bye. So we'll see you in a, a couple of we're seconds. We're literally gonna go bye and then hi. You'll see. It'll be funny. Okay, we'll see you in a couple of seconds. Bye. Yeah, bye. Well, guys, we are back. Max has had his uh, his tea. What did you have, Max? Uh oh, actually, I had. Oh yeah. What did I have? Oh yeah, I had sc scampi and chips. Oh, scampi and chips, lovely. I did make the fatal error though of accidentally putting uh, spicy ketchup on instead of normal. Ketchup. Oh, that is terrible. It did ruin it a bit. That is quite bad, actually. Um, but uh, but yeah, I am going to show you my 
my my book, my Thomanomanomanomicon. Thomanomanomanomanomanomicon. You come and go. So you come can see and here yes, that Max is getting a little bit crazy already. Yeah, like, obviously big Songcraft fan. Um, so yeah, lots of research done, pretty cool. Um, as I said, I don't really want to show off the research because it kind of spoilers, basically. Um, spoilers. So yeah, I basically Nitor. looked up all my research. Uh, we've got Nitor. I like to use it, make it myself, actually. I like trying to work it out. Um, we've got Nitor Alimenta we want to make next, so that requires three Fractus, six Potentia, six Ignis. Oh, yeah. So... I believe that this has three fractors, and then we can also throw in three coal. So it's three coal stone and three coal makes an elementum, basically, which is pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's try it. Oh shit! Didn't mean to do that. Come oh, on. poop. Poopity poop McPoopingtons. We've run out of everything. Right. So, Max, Thank I've got this. Here we go, Alimentum. Yes, we got it. Now, Alimentum is probably one of the most useless things ever. Uh, basically, what it can do... Um, it says here, the substance throbs with fire energy as it's more eager to release the energy at the slightest bump. It may be unstable, but it would probably make a good fuel source. So actually, actually, no, Alimentum, uh, I now remember, is actually very useful. But basically, it is probably not a good idea to throw it against the solid surface. Um, basically, Alimentum, if we look at any eye, can produce 16k EU at 10 EU per tick. So 16k EU. Now, if we compare this to cold coke, right, you'll see it's exactly the same. So basically, this is like... A magical cold coke, which is pretty cool, isn't it? It's a magical cold coke. And do I do. have just found something even cooler. Look at this. You can actually make... <coughs> oh my god, Max. You've got a blob in your hand. It looks revolting. Max, you can make... Yeah. I'm waiting for it. Okay, right. So put... Okay, go and, go and put a load of sugar in the coke oven. Okay, chuck it here. Well, I haven't got any, but there's loads. Yeah. Like, uh, not, sh not sugar cane, actual sugar. I think it's sugar. Some sugar. Let's like, see if Webber's got any down there's, there. There's tons of uh, sugar cane upstairs, Max. He's got all the, the uh, oh, you bloody magical there's, building There's also, there's also some, uh, some discoveries for you there, Max. Yay. Oh, those. So, um, yeah, Alimentum can be used as fuel, but you can also use it to do this. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, shit. Well... <laughs> yeah. Um, plant these a bit. A bit. I can wait plant there, Max. I'm, I'm trying to I sort. do not have all the knowledge required to understand this. No. Probably for the well, best. That was probably a letdown, I think. It's probably a letdown. I do not have all the knowledge required to understand lead transmutation. What a letdown. What? Do you even have a thorm Oh yeah, do you have a thorminomicon? Well, I used to, and then shit happened. Oh. Like that Alimentum explosion there? No. It was a whole new league of sh shit. Okay. I'll just, we'll it just leave it there then. Yeah. So yeah, go get some sugar back, so we make some sugar coke. Oh, some sugar. sugar. Oh yeah, it's in the, in the food and natural items. You make some sugar coal. Some sugar what? You can make sugar coal if you put sugar in the uh, in the coke oven. Is it very tasty? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to test that. I hope it is. Do you hope so? How much do you hope? Mm, quite a bit. I hope it's very tasty. Okay. It's going in the coke oven. What it's are these going. used for? And it's doing nothing. Well, it's probably going to be quite slow. Oh Take wait, them. it's doing... I just took the cold coke out a bit. And it's going. It's going. It's doing its thing. Doing its thing, it's doing, doing its thing. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can do something here. I wanna test out the smoky courts. Oh, Make my way through the smoking crowd. The club is high on an omni cloud. Okay, that's probably quite a waste of quartz, so I'm not gonna go up the mine and do something. And okay. I drills in my pants. Just well, pants. just pants. Max, I'm telling you now, yeah. 
I am okay. probably going to make yeah. a thermometer. Mm hmm. With four gold and a water yeah. shard. Mm hmm. That's right. You better watch mm -hmm. out, Max, because I'm making this water shard. Yeah. I'm not a water shard, eh? Yeah. Mm hmm. That's... Okay. Yeah. It's basically a compass that points you to a viz node. Brat popped the clip into my pistol. Watch the shit. Oh no, I need to put it in a bloody other table, don't I? In a bloody other table? <laughs> Jeez, watch it. Yeah. My, uh, my Dragonborn armor's only on half durability. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame, Max. Gonna have to think about that on you next time you attack me. For so da. What the hell happened there? Did you just take damage from, like, banging your head on the ceiling? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Well, I've got a thermometer now, so I can find out where the nearest node is. Thermometer. It turns it's out... It's a missing texture for me. <laughs> it's a missing texture. For me. For you. For me. Is it for you? No. Oh. Damn you. It's this way, apparently, which is strange. It's pointing straight towards the silverwood tree. I Whoa. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, so basically, silver trees actually spawn a node inside them, so once we get past the silver tree, it'll start turning the other way. Yeah, there we go. Look, yeah, and like around. I said, you can make a super tri node if you get two more. In fact, I've, I'll have i go get the saplings now. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, there we go. We got the uh, the node there, which it can pick up. So basically, uh, silver saplings actually create pure nodes. Um, which are basically like, they get rid of flux in the atmosphere, so if you plant a load of them, Max, we might be able to make a good pure node. I think what you need to do is put on your... Where is it? Here it is. You need to put on this hat. Your, oh, of course. You silly billy, you just look hat. like an absolute mug in your Lego hat. <laughs> um, there we are. What did I come in here for? Uh, oh yeah, saplings. There's lots of saplings. Rap pop the clip into my pistol. Watch I need to make shit. a knapsack, actually. A knapasackus. You sure you don't want a golden bag of holding? No, knapsacks are cooler. Well, guys, I already had a knapsack, um, so I just put it in the chest. But you can see here, look at my lovely knapsack. And I'm holding my thermometer in it, Max. Just, it's amazing. Thermometer. 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 That's how. Yeah. So if we had a look at my uh, thermometer now, Max, it should oh, yeah. be uh, pretty full. Oh yeah. Uh, cool. So if we have a look at it, we cool can see beans. We've got lots of lovely stuff. Now I want to get this now, so I'm going to try and get a little bit more research. Just want to unlock some of these wands so we can start playing with them. So I'll be right back once I've got the research for this lovely wand. Okay guys, so just finished my research for Discovery. Unified Thormic Field Theory. Isn't this amazing, Max? Ooh, a unified Normic Field Weary. That is right. Oh. So, um, all you have to do is right click and we've got this theory. So now what we can do is we can do some cool new stuff. Yay, cool new stuff. So where have I put my Thormonomicon for a start? Thormonomicon. You come and go. Well, in this case, Max. You come and go. Yeah. In this case, it's just gone. It's just go. Oh. Thumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumbnumb
Hang on, wait there, Max. I, I might not have done. I might have done something wrong here. Okay, guys. So, think it's worked now. I forgot to put the wand in. So there we go. Wand of the adept. I have now got. There we go. Whoa, we did it. I've got, I've got a wand of the. I've got a wand of the adept, Max. Adept wand. You what? have reached magic level forty. Um, no, level two actually. Oh. Okay. Um, that's not quite. You're a noob, aren't you? Well, then no, that's arguable, Max. But also true. Me, yes. Okay, so I need to now. Wool. Get that was wool. I need to get some wool myself, Max, actually. No, but this is a weird type of wool. It's so weird, in fact, that I can't find it. Wow. It's just called wool. But. How strange. It doesn't look anything like normal wool. Maybe it is normal wool. I don't know. Is it wool? Do you reckon it's wool? Where? Um, here. Take my boots. Yeah. And go on to shock absorbers. What? Shock absorbers? Yeah. In the, uh, in the... In the tink table. Oh, alright. It's like a really weird picture of wool. Yeah, that's wool. Oh, what, just like normal wool? Yeah. It doesn't look anything like it, though. Well, you don't have anything look like a Skyrim hero because you look idiotic. Can I ask a, a, a question, eh? Yeah. Can you see my trousers and my boots? Or are they invisible? They're invisible. Oh, good. I was hoping it was like that. Awesome. Why would, you, why would you want invisibility on them? Because it doesn't look very Skyrim-y. No. Oh. So what are you going to wear instead? Just um, I'm just going to wear this steel chest plate. And my hat. power armor. Right. And my epic hat. 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 I am Captain Fifo of the Hootman. No, Void Ship Star Runner. Void Ship Star Runner. <laughs> Oh. The Void Ship Star Runner. What would yeah, you like Void to talk to us about today? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, of course, the Spathy have gone now, though, so. Uh, Captain Fwiffo, you big. They you ran big, away. Uh, well, I've still got Fwiffo. They ran away like cowards. And they hid in their slave shield. Uh huh. The big pufters. Um, Puffla. 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 What did I even? Oh yeah, I needed two uh, servo motos. Servo moto. Max, I'm getting loads of string. Oh yeah. So uh, you better watch out. And I better not cry. I think that's how it goes. All right. Okay. Good. I need twelve wiring and six irons. Actually, that's the thing we need to do. We need to get uh, our quarry up and running. Right. Because I built it, like, a million years ago, but we haven't actually got around to mining it. Well, yeah, but that is for next episode, Max, isn't it? Yeah, So for um, next episode. <laughs> we'll, see you, we'll see you then, guys. We'll, we'll, we'll get that quarry underway. Um, so the quarry is up here, just kind of chilling. Um... So let me just recap what we've done then. We've kind of showed it off, but let me just kind of under explain what's happening. If we go over here, Mine Freund. Mine Freund. To TLGA Inc. Industries place conglomerate. Conglomerate. <laughs> uh. And to walk down the lovely birch and stone path. We have the lovely um, aqua, lovely. aqua um, water mill place of place. A place of place. <coughs> Good grammar there. That's getting quite a lot of power. And that is all going to feed through to a um, MFE that we're going to oh, put down. Yeah. Uh, and we're also going to get some other cool stuff. Good. I so, like cool stuff. Um, the quarry, which we can access by going through this rather efficient gate system, <laughs> is over here. Let's run. Let's run. 
Hey, can I have that wool now? The wool's in the blocks chest. Oh, okay, great. Um... So yeah, so the quarry's just kind of chilling here. It hasn't really done that much at all. Um, so it's not doing anything right now because it's got no power, but it's all set up ready to go once we do get some power. Um, I'm going to use tesseracts so we can get some uh, bit of thermal expansion going so we can get some tesseracts and redstone energy conduits and uh, get a nice power system going up. Um, we're going to get uh, a steam boiler going and uh, we found we thought of a good way to maintain the fuel. Um, so that would be cool. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a steam boiler. It's going to be really awesome to use. So we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. We'll see Bye you everyone. in episode whatever the hell it is next. Goodbye. Yep. Bye. I almost died. Oh. <laughs>